Hey, I'm Devin Morgan. I'm the director of youth baseball at Driveline, founder of the Driveline Academy, and today we're going to be talking about some games out of our book, Skills at Scale. Today we're going to be talking about Kill the King. Kill the King is one of my favorite games in the Skills at Scale book simply because it allows us to train two things at once. The first thing is the literal skill that scales for our young hitters, which is hitting the ball hard. The other thing is we're trying to train approach. By being able to do those both of those things at the same time, we're able to both incentivize what we want our young hitters to do, hit the ball hard, but we're also being able to give them a little bit of a stimulus about what they're thinking about and the type of pitches they're going to swing at relative to the incoming pitch count. Round one, coming in with a 2-2 count, right? So we're not going to take anything that's hittable, but if it's a ball we can take, we're just trying to immediately train the approach right out of the gate, get kids into a swing first mode to get aggressive and try to attack a hittable pitch. Let's do it. Okay, 2-2 two -two count. Hard hit balls are two points. Good take, 3-2. Uh, no points. That'll play. Okay, two points. That'll play. Okay, four points. Oh, what does the hit track say? Yeah, that'll play. Here we go. Good, three, two. What do we got? Uh, fly out. Triple. All right, two points. Good. Okay, I'll give you a take. Three, two. Good swing. Good swing. Hey, that's a good swing. I love it. Okay. And what do we got? I think we got another triple. That'll play. Okay, four points. We're changing up the approach a little bit, and we're also changing up the scoring structure. So, players are going to enter in with a 2-1 count. Two balls, one strike. It's a plus count for the hitter. What we're trying to get them to do is start to think about the pitches they can really, really crush and attack. So, if I'm a confident hitter, you're a confident hitter, uh, in a 2-1 count, I might take a borderline strike because I feel confident in my ability to attack in a 2-2 count when I know the pitcher's got to give me something. Uh, additionally, we're going to change the scoring structure just a little bit. Hard hit balls to the outfield, three points. Grounders, which later turn into outs, minus one. So again, we're just kind of changing the scoring system to reflect kind of the priority for what we want our hitters to think about producing. Okay, two, one count. Ready? Here we go. Uh, that'll get through. Okay, three points. Two, one count. Remember, you don't have to go. Good. Three, one. That'll play. We counting that? Uh, okay, here we go. Two, two. Two, two. Here we go. That's it. I got that up. Three, two. Yeah, that'll play. Two, two. Good swing. Good swing. <laughs> I'm changing up on you. Hunt mode now, right? 3-1, here we go. Oh! Hitters are coming into a 3-2 count. We know we're gonna see these situations in the game, so we should probably start to train it in practice. Uh, additionally, we're gonna change our incentive structure a little bit. Hard hit ball, period, on the ground or in the air, four points. Soft contact, pop-up flares, minus two, right? We're, we're giving them huge incentive structure to go like, hey, hitting the ball hard at this point in a 3-2 count is the number one thing we wanna generate. We have to protect the plate. We gotta hit the ball hard because hitting the ball hard increases the out, uh, likelihood of good outcomes. We don't wanna have soft contact. So that's what we're trying to train for. Three, two count, let's get it. Here we go. Good, that's four. Uh, that's hard contact. That'll play. Is that hard? How hard was that ball hit? All right, that'll play. Oh! Oppo flare. Okay, simple modification we're gonna make right now. One player's up, uh, he's down, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna incentivize the thing that matters most. The game rules in the book, four points for a hard hit ball. I'm gonna say he gets 10 points if he hits a homer. Again, uh, these type of scoring modifications relative to your groups, your players, how you wanna incentivize stuff, man, once you understand the template, just make it your own for your team. Oh, that's got a chance. Okay, dinger number one. Oh, that's in the zone. Yeah, it is. 
Foul ball, foul ball. Good tip, good tip, good tip. We're still alive, we're still alive. Oh, does it have a chance? Does it have a chance? Oh, no! Yeah. Double off the line. I want to play him again. You want to play again, right? Yeah. Man, the whole idea with these games is drive fun and drive engagement, right? And the more that we kind of understand that base idea, we can start to change practice design and games and structure in our practices relative to the stuff we want to drive, right? We're focusing on the skills of scale, hitting the ball hard, ideally hitting the ball hard in the air, and again, developing approach at the same time. Did we have fun? Yeah. Who got the only homer of the day? Let's go. <laughs> Thanks, you guys.